Hi everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to use Microsoft Whiteboard in Teams to work on a project or a PDF collaboratively with your students. First thing I'm going to do is start a meeting and I'm just going to do a general meet now meeting and we're going to call it Whiteboard Test. Hello everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to click on meet now. Now the first thing I'm going to do as soon as I'm able to is to share my screen. Now if you've da already downloaded the Whiteboard program you'll have it on the right side of your uh, options when you uh, choose to be able to share your screen. Now if you don't have it over here on the right you'll want to come down here in the search box in the lower left hand corner and type in maybe just the word store and it should come up with the Microsoft Store uh, and then search for Whiteboard there and get it downloaded. Alrighty, but for now since I have it I'm going to click on Whiteboard and within a moment or two my whiteboard screen options will come up. You could make it so you're presenting only where students cannot collaborate together with the first choice, or the second choice is to collaborate all of you together. Uh, it does do a countdown, so it will automatically go to collaborate on, on whiteboard uh, automatically if you wait for it. You can switch that back and forth, so uh, maybe the students have done a little bit of work and you want to take over control and not have them work on it anymore. You can drop this down, little gear thing down, and choose the option where the turning off the students participating in the collaboration. Okay, just keep that in mind. For now though, I'm going to show you how to bring in a PDF or a Word document or even a PowerPoint slideshow in order for them to work together on. Alrighty. To do this from here, you'll click on the open an app in the upper right hand corner and then open the app. This is going to actually open up the whiteboard program. Know this, uh, what you see happening right now in this video is not seen by students. Only you can see what you're doing at this point in time. They can just see the white screen behind us. Okay. Down at the bottom, on my options at the bottom of the, the screen, I'm going to click on the insert menu or the little plus sign. And from the menu that displays, you'll see the different things that you can bring into this document or into this collaboration space. I'm going to choose a PDF for now. What's nice about this too is once you bring over uh, the entire document, maybe you had a five page document and you only want one to be collaborated on, this is kind of nice. You can just click on just the one that you want like that and then insert just that one. Now, If I wanted them both, of course, I'd click on both. But for now, I'm going to click on just the first one. All right, and insert selected. Now, you can see kind of back here uh, that it's going on and it's in, in this, the collaboration space right away. Now, before you do anything else, uh, before leaving this area, I would highly suggest doing this. If you click on the image that you just inserted of the PDF, I would click on it and from the box that's displayed, lock it into the background. See the little lock that's appearing up there? When I click on that, that makes it so any inking that is done on this uh, will stay on this, this, in this instance, the graded rubric, alrighty? Uh, meaning that if, if it gets moved, if you don't lock it, if somebody maybe wrote their name at the top of this one, say, and then it got the image itself or the PDF itself got moved, the name would stay, but the document itself would slide off to the side. And I, I, you don't want that to happen. And to prevent that, clicking on it and choosing that option to lock it makes it so it stays in place with the inking that might take place on it. Okay? So once you've had it locked in place, you'll click on the X to close it, and you'll want to continue to use Whiteboard in Teams. So now you're ready. Your students can come in here on their, whether they're being uh, at the K to five level on an iPad or the six to 12 level on a laptop, they can come in here and get busy on working on it. Okay, I hope this helps.